Hi all and welcome back to my very first ongoing let's play of Sea of Stars. We are out searching with the drones in the desert and we will continue to do that but before we do I just want to say that if you are enjoying the channel or this let's play I would love it if you hit those like subscribe buttons and for those of you who just did thank you very much and for the rest of you it's super cool to tag along for this adventure anyway of course and as always while gaming there will be only reading of information and uh, dialogue. Nothing else. Bound one wire plate armor.
found 25 gold. One crystal.
There's no one. Another setback. Is it right? Cedric detected something here. We have to find it. Lost one's Hamlet. Built this place. Really? This used to be one of his workshops. And this dome design. We are in a container for souls. Huh. Euphoro. Why? His experiments left a presence behind. One moment. Attention all! This concoction will dispel the concealment curse. Those who wish to remain hidden, look away now. Lost one. Oh! It worked! Hey, I can see you! What color am I? What happened here? Another wicked experiment. I knew a foral was meddling with souls, but to detach living beings from their bodies... Hmm. So he hides the proof and leaves them here to wander forever? Your friend is a coward. Hmm. A foral's not... These people might know something that can help. Let's ask around. Last one. Hmm. I don't know where I looked. Surely you won't try to enter the workshop. You know there's something big and dangerous in there, right? I saw someone darting towards the exit. Don't they know we're stuck here? Well, what color am I? No, you tell me first. I do not miss the tank. It's good to be able to see each other after all this time. This is a special day for sure. 
Beast was always a special one. The one who did experiments on us, he was not well. Need anything for the journey ahead? Recipe Pain Door Recipe Gourmet Burger Slot You're Solstice Warriors, aren't you? How do you know? The dead of a forgotten race know many things. Who are you? I am called Beast. Do you know anything about Skybase? Yes, my people remember when the place was built, back when we had physical forms. Unfortunately, the Axis Rock went offline after Skybase was corrupted to create the clouds. Corrupted? Yes, it was the first step in the build up to our world's downfall. You mean Sky Bay wasn't always designed for nefarious deeds? Oh no, we used to regulate climate and keep our planet lush. Huh. It was beautiful. The evil machine that took over Sky Bay's eventually corrupted its AI core. The creator of the cyborgs, it called itself the Catalyst, so that's where I'll find that bastard. You remember? We thought it erased the memories too. We only remember its name. Sarai? I'm okay, just one more reason to get to Skybase. The speedball network is the only way. Do you know how we could restore power? Yes, when it became clear that our world would fall, we built a failsafe. Amidst the sacrosanct spires, it hides in plain sight. A titan made of cybernetics and stone, holding a giant block up high. If the brakes are released, it will drop the block, returning the energy that was spent to lift it up. The most primitive form of battery, holding just enough power to support our world's last ditch effort. We named it Estriste. But the entrance to the sacrosanct spires is sealed. My people tried everything. That seal is an easy one to break for those who know how. So you can get us in? Absolutely, provided you can find a way to take me there. What do you mean? This one understands. Mm. Beast and his people are stuck here. This dome is the only thing preventing them from dissipating into nothingness. Oh. As I said, I will help, but you first need to get me there. Hmm. And I also wish to fight by their side. Tell me, how good of an alchemist are you? I, uh, dabble. Can you do it? Living glass. One final attempt, perhaps. Are you sure you understand what you are demanding? Yes, for a way to fight back and help reclaim my world. The procedure cannot be undone. I understand. I would need proper tools, but my code prevents me from breaking into Forrest's workshop. If you can get the door open, I will do it. You're not dodging this one.
Cedric, I am uploading a 3D scan. Transmission received, lock level, intricate. Can you make the key? Affirmative. Good, I am sending the probe to pick it up. And now we wait. But your life? I guess I just never imagined such a long stretch of time. If my understanding is correct, you and Valer are on such a path yourselves. I am. One day at a time. And I have much to learn about combat myself. I believe we can teach one another. Still, I bet Garl would have managed to make them laugh. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I'm sorry, Valer. I didn't mean... Oh no, it's okay. See, I used to think grief was a negative emotion that eventually went away. But it doesn't work like that, it's just always there. So it's not like there's anything you could say that would suddenly make me remember him. Sometimes I feel really sad, and other times I find myself smiling and thinking of fond memories. It's like Sale said, he's always with us on some level. And I think I'm slowly starting to understand that it just means I'm lucky to have had someone so dear to me. Uh, does that make sense? Hmm. It does. Thank you, Valer. This helps me too. Just like Carl to be the highlight of the day without even being here. <laughs> Looks like our key just arrived. Ready? I should warn you. The abomination that tortured us still inhabits the place. We'll take care of it. Found one walnut cork. A rare find in Rice World. And I think this is the place where we end off this part. See you in the next one. Thanks for following along as I stumbled around in the desert for a good long while. I hope you still had fun. If you did, I would love to hit those like subscribe buttons. And if I saw you again in the next part. But for now, it is time to say bye bye.